we're going to graph this equation and we're going to use our slope intercept to help make this easier. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to rewrite this into slope intercept and slope intercept is y equals mx plus b. So when I look at this, I can see that I need this y by itself. Since this is already positive, I'm going to choose to move the 3x because you want this y positive. So save myself a step. So y equals negative 3x plus 9. So this is my equation in slope intercept. What does this tell me? So this right here, my slope is negative 3, and then my y intercept is 9. So 0, 9. So when you go to graph this, you are going to start at the y-intercept. So in this case, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? I'm going to start up here. That's my first dot. This tells me what to do. Now, normally we have a top and a bottom. I don't have a top and a bottom, but every whole number integer can be put over 1. So my rise is 3. My run is 1. Now. We always put the negative with the top. You will go up or down. You will always, always run to the right. You do not want to double run, okay? So I'm going to go down three, one, two, three, and then I'm going to go over one, putting me there. I'm going to do it again. One, two, three, over one more. Then this here is my line. So each time I went down three over one, down three over one. Now, it's very important with the negative that you do not do it. If I would have done down and then over, I would have went the wrong way. Because remember, two negatives make a positive. You only have one negative. You could technically, if you wanted to, have went up and then left. But it's easier to remember one way and always go the same. So in general, we teach the top is the up or down. The bottom, the run, is always positive. Okay? So hopefully this helps you. This is a great way to quickly graph a linear equation. Um, obviously, it doesn't help with the nonlinears, but we've got other methods for that later.